the corruption in Gotham has to stop! Batman? Where's Ghost Avengers? Ave Maria! I don't know what got into me. I guess I was just cosplaying a little too hard. Welcome back to the West Coast Avengers. Another week, another idiot. How's everybody doing today? We got another flea market episode for you. This time, I went back to the monthly Alameda Antique Fair. You may remember I was there a bunch of months ago. According to the other day, it used to be a lot better last year. This month, I took another shot at it, and it was me and Dave and our friend Paul and Steve and we got there really early in the morning. This time, at least, it was a little bit lighter out. I'm gonna show you the footage, as usual. I'll talk over it a little bit. Let me get back to more pressing matters, like uh, <clears throat> threatening Gotham City. All right, I'll see you in just a sec. <laughs> no, baby! No, 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 no! Where's Ghost Avengers? I'm back here at Alameda Antique Fair, behind the Ad At Walkers. We're gonna go look for comics. It's me, it's Dave, it's Paul, it's Steve, it's all of us. We got some honorary Dave Engers today. Let's see what we find. <sighs> oh, really? Yeah, I, it's, it's, a, it's a story, long story. Is it a hard story, though? Where's uh, Paul? Monster magazines. I don't know, I feel like that's something that you would buy. Good idea. Good. Creepy. Ooh, ooh, come on, give me one of the amazing heroes. I've... Oh, that's so fucking dope. <laughs> oh, there's a glow shape. That's number two. This might be first grade Capullo artwork. Uh, I have six, thanks. <laughs> language that is, but that's pretty cool. Hello. This is the first Bernie Wright sign. Is it? Yeah. It's beat to shit, but... Fuck, it's sick. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in there. Towards the back, there's a, a bunch of Love and Rockets. I always want to buy some of these, you know, but I feel like I've seen them a lot. I want to give them, like, a song. So that's a CGC. It's a CGC 9. The first book. Okay. So the first find of the day was a stack of Amazing Spider-Man books. And as you can see here, Dave was flipping through them. He pulled out a Amazing Spider-Man 316, a 317, and a 298. Some key Venom books in there. But unfortunately, they were wrecked. They'd never been properly stored, and they kind of smelled pretty bad. So as you can see on the close-ups of the 316, the spine's just completely wrecked. And sometimes, you know, you can just pass up on things if they're not in great condition. Leave them for somebody else to have a great find because there's plenty of people looking for comics. So we just walked away from them. No harm, no foul. Ah! Yeah. Fuck. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff to be done. This guy. Good or bad? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a Tarak one though. Shadowhawk two. Oh. Man. What is there? Shadowhawk two number one. This is where I found the 340. That was uh. Hey, how's it going? Good. Do you have new comics? Is this all from last time? I have two. These are two boxes, but I don't know. The front ones? The two front ones? Okay. Yeah. Really backwards. Let's flip them around. Did you need some death lock? How many shadow hogs do you want to say? Oh, seriously, there's seven on here. <laughs> How was your uh, LA trip, your AEW trip? It was dope, man. We were in and out for the day, but it was really, it was really fun. We're all wizards. We're definitely yeah, good. Yeah. <clears throat> you ever been to Chicago? No, no. Oh, no. it's such a great fucking city. 
I've never been either. I drove through it once, but that's just definitely a spot I it's, would go through and like hang out. It's New York for the Midwest. Like, it's LA for the Midwest, you know, however you want to say it, but it is awesome. Wow, oh, man, I'd buy that if it wasn't all messed up. Ever encountered um, some Malibu Suns in the wild? Mm. But there was, it was, obviously, it wasn't what, you know. I found Malibu Sun here once and I bought it. Oh, I, oh, I know. Was. No, 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 I'm talking oh, about the other one. a different one. one. You're going to have to rub that one in. <laughs> Dark man. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I'll pick this up. Oh, hell yeah, Max number 28. We haven't seen Todd yet, though. Yeah, but can I keep an eye out for him, too? On fish beliefs. I don't know fish Arthur Sidem. I, I don't uh, hate his art. He, he's a dick. That's right, you heard it here first on West Coast Avengers exclusive. Arthur Sidem is a dick. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> that's a first Hellboy right there. Dude, that's the one you're looking for that level. Ooh. Holy shit. 30 for learning right there. Oh, hello. Tarzan and Predator. Doesn't sound like a match that's really that fair. Anything key about this? I think that's the first Wildcats, yeah. I think. I kind of want to get all the Malibu Suns now. Now that I have the hardest ones to get. Dave, I think this is the one I was talking about. Oh. So close, yet so far away. Paul, you need wrestling DVDs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? We all have that friend who loves this stuff. Oh, there you go. There you go. Monster Squad. No, it's not that Monster Squad. Any comics at all? Not comics. Well, we didn't bring comics, right? No, yeah. we got the new ones. Yeah, we got Where? We got the little box. Where would they be? Oh, the comments are over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Mind if I jump in? Yeah, sure. They're kind of neat. They're new ones. Okay, well. I don't discriminate on my comics by age. I don't believe in age discrimination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These, some of these get to be expensive, these Grim Fairy Tales, but I don't know which ones. Yeah. How much are the comics? Sounds good. Sounds good. So right there, I asked him how much the comics were. He said 150 and I said, sounds good. Right? I'm not crazy. I'm not making this up. Well, watch this. Uh, I got uh, I got seven books. Twenty-five bucks, five each. You just said a dollar fifty to me. I said how much are the comics? You said one fifty. I never heard that. Now this kind of just pissed me off. I heard the guy say 150. I responded to him. That was all good, and then it was 25. And I just didn't give a shit enough. I walked away. Dave, what you got there? 
slice of pizza. Uh, where'd you pull that out of? My backpack. Well, I guess he's got me beat. Backpack pizza! This is different, yeah. This is other creepy books. That's gotta be, you know, is that William Stout? Oh, fuck, I'm looking right at it. Oh, I right an issue. Okay. I wasn't gonna buy any more stuff, but I'm like looking at it, I'm like, why does this look so familiar? That's awesome. There might be two books in there. That's. How much are they? $5.50. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Why everything I gave you here we are well so as you can see and as you can see from this pile right here it's really not that big of a haul there was a lot of boxes to look through and not a lot of stuff to be found and as you can see in that clip i even got a little ticked off at one of the dealers when he told me one price and then told me another price i still had a lot of fun it's a great setting to go to a flea market there's a lot of stuff to see that isn't comics and if you're looking for furniture, just very interesting stuff, it's a good place to go. To show you the uh, little haul, and then we'll call it a day. Creepy Magazine, number 113, a special Bernie Wrightson issue. I still haven't looked through this because I just got home yesterday. But it's funny because when I saw the cover before I saw this part, I said to Dave I thought it was William Stout. Stout did a lot of dinosaur stuff. My eyes just went right up there to Bernie Wrightson. I was originally not going to buy it. You know what? I've never seen it before and it's Bernie. One score I did have was that one gentleman who brought out kind of crates, the plastic tubs full of comics. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is banged up, but that being said, it's a score. And a score is a score, no matter what. Evil Ernie number three, this is the original OG Evil Ernie comic from Brian Polito and Stephen Hughes, 1992. So this would be the third appearance of Evil Ernie. First time I've ever owned any of the original Evil Ernie books. And it's pretty interesting because I don't know if that's supposed to be Lady Death on the back, but maybe that is Lady Death before she was very pale and death-like. A1 Book 6, featuring Tank Girl on the cover. Jamie Hewlett, featuring a Glenn Fabry illustration on the back. Tank Girl, you get an Archie Goodwin story in here. You get a Warren Ellis, Harlequin Bones, Eddie Campbell, Alec McGarry, and a Garth Ennis, Steve Dillon. And they never get drunk, but stay sober. Interesting. Excited to check that out because it looks like it's all one-offs. A late run Max, Max number 28. This is very close to the last issue. I believe the last issue was number 32. Star Wars Splinter of the Mind's Eye. Just pick up Dark Horse Star Wars when I find it. This is number three. Street Fighter 2 number one and Street Fighter 2 number four from Tokuma Comics. So this is not the first Street Fighter, but it is very early on. And they're both decent condition, not great. Not terrible. They look to be newsstands, unless there was no direct on that. Finally, the biggest find, even though it is a lower grade copy, San Diego Comic Con 1993 from Dark Horse Comics. This is the first appearance of Hellboy in any comic. This predates Next Men. I believe there is a Mignola sketchbook or a comic convention sketchbook that does have some images of Hellboy, but I believe this is the first appearance of Hellboy as the character Hellboy. This is the third copy I found this year. It is a lower grade copy, but still not easy to find. How many people really saved this stuff from San Diego Comic-Con in 93? Apparently my friend Victor did. He saved two copies and I sold one for him and I kept one. And that was really it. You know, it was a lot of junk there. I don't know if I'll make it a point to go back to that flea market. We still had a lot of fun digging around. We spent three hours there, four hours there. Just had a, a fun time anyway. You, you play to win the game, but sometimes you don't make playoffs. Playoffs? Who said anything about playoffs? Thanks for joining on this little ride. I'll be back next week, of course. Don't forget, if you're watching for the first time, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. So I'll see you next week on Where's Ghost Avengers? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! I'll see. That was terrible.